Will this film send shivers down your spine? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you The Snowman, starring Michael Fassbender, Rebecca Ferguson, and Charlotte Gainsbourg. First we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts, then we'll move on to our spoiler free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. The Snowman follows the story of a detective who investigates the disappearance of several women, all of which had a snowman at their crime scenes. Overall. This is a very, very bad film. I can see the appeal and the potential behind its premise, but I can also see where it all went wrong. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the setting. This is a beautiful looking film. The visuals and cinematography help build a chilling, cold, and isolated atmosphere. And the best part to me were the performances by Michael Fassbender and Rebecca Ferguson. Both of them are not at their best in this film, but they also don't phone it in, and it's the only redeemable quality of this film. However, where do we begin with this shit show? Let's start off with the script. This is a poorly written script. It is constantly building, but never has any payoff, which causes absolutely no tension or thrills throughout the entire narrative. It's constantly undermined by this need to jump from scene to scene and unnecessary plot lines that kind of destroy the tension that they're building in these other scenes. Aside from the story, the characters are dull, uninteresting, and underdeveloped, making it not easy to invest in any of these characters so you don't really care about what's going on in this story. And Val Kilmer. I know he's sick in this movie, he's had cancer for a little bit, so you can understand why his performance wasn't at his A game, however, I just couldn't get behind his character in this movie. Every scene is dubbed over, but it's dubbed over in such a way that the sound mixing is completely off, and he is so much louder in those scenes, but also, the audio doesn't match up with how his, move, his lips are moving, and all of that just takes you out of that and really makes it more farcical, if anything. And that's where I'll end our spoiler free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now, it's time for spoilers. First off, who in their right mind names their protagonist Harry Hole? They had to know what they were doing there, and as much as this is supposed to be a serious crime thriller, the name makes it feel more like a satire. So the fact that they did that just baffles me. Please let his middle name be Butt. This also feels nothing close to a horror thriller. It's dull, no tension, no suspense, there's no violence. I felt really cheated out of a psychological thriller. And they call that a climax? Harry goes to save his family, gets them out of danger, but then goes out onto the lake and tells the guy to shoot him? And then, instead of having some climactic battle, the guy just falls through the ice. That is the most unsuspenseful, anticlimactic build-up to any sort of conclusion for a serial killer movie I've seen. Aside from those things, I have nothing else to talk about about this film. To be honest, I'm exhausted from it, it was boring, I just don't want to talk about it anymore. And if I had to pick any scene as my favorite, I would have to say it's when the twin is murdered in the slaughterhouse, because that's the only tension-filled scene that they have, and then of course when they go to the next scene, it's completely destroyed and there's no tension anymore. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. The Snowman is a dull, dragging crime drama that takes a best-selling crime novel and an all-star cast and completely wastes them. The unsuspenseful, uneventful, and uninteresting story is rivaled by equally boring characters, editing, and a confusing performance, which makes this film send shivers down your spine in all the wrong ways. This film is definitely one of the worst of the year, so I'm gonna give The Snowman a two and a half. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing The Snowman? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips, and this has been The Film Fanatic Review. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest Fanatic 5 video where we discuss the top Ryan Gosling roles. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, Fanatics, keep it real.